This is how you can make an emoji enlarge command for a discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I just want to say that memberships are available on my channel. You can buy the basic super and god tier. If you buy the super tier or the god tier, you will be able to have access to paste bins, meaning you can actually copy and paste the code from my videos into your bot instead of actually having to type it out. If this seems interesting to you, go ahead and click the join button next to my name or click the link in the description. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. Before we get started with the code, I just want to actually show you what this is so this is an ascii command so you can do slash enlarge and you can go ahead and put in your emoji let's just say i do like this one and it will go ahead and actually make it bigger so that you can copy it and paste it anywhere you want this is really useful and i actually do use this pretty much every day so let's go ahead and actually code this we can go over to community and we can do enlarge.js we're going to go ahead and start off by defining a couple things we're going to do const and we can do slash command builder and we'll do embed builder we can do equal equals require and we'll do discord.js then we're going to do const and we can do default and we'll do axios we can do equals require and we're going to get axios just like that now one thing to keep in mind is you are going to have to do npm i axios in your terminal for this to work now we can do module.exports equals we'll open this up we can do data and new slash command builder we can do that set name and this is going to be in large we can set a description just like this and you can make emojis bigger with this command just like that and then we can do add string option we will do option arrow function option dot set name and this is going to be emoji and then we can do dot set description and we can go ahead and say the emoji you would like to enlarge just like that we can do set required and this is going to be true we can add a comma async execute we'll do interaction and we can go ahead and open this up all right so we can start by doing let emoji equals interaction the options that get string and we can do emoji we can do a question mark dot trim and we can go ahead and close that off and then we can say if emoji dot starts with and we can do with the first arrow just like that and then we can do and and or ampersand ampersand we can do emoji dot ends with in here we're actually going to do the other arrow just like that we can go ahead and open this up we're going to do const id equals emoji dot match and in here, we're going to do a forward slash and a backslash. We're going to do B. We're going to open this up. We're going to say 15, comma, no spaces here. Then we're going to do another forward slash. We can do G. And then right outside of that, we can do zero, just like this. Then we can do const type equals await axios.git. So you're going to go ahead and actually type this link out. It's https colon forward slash forward slash cdn.discordapp.com slash emojis. And then you can do slash dot gif. Now, right in between this slash dot, you're just going to go ahead and open this up and we can do id we're going to do it dot then we can do image and we can go ahead and open this up we're going to say if image and then we can just return and we can do gif then we can go ahead and say else return and then we'll do png just like this we can go ahead and catch error and we can go ahead and open this up in here we're going to do return and we'll say png just like that and we can actually set the emoji to a link so we can do emoji equals and then in here we're actually going to go ahead and get the discord app attachment for emojis so just go ahead and type this out so right after the slash you're going to want to open this up and we're actually going to go ahead and put in our id and then right after the dot we're going to open this up and we're going to go ahead and put in type just like that and now we can come down here and say if no emoji dot starts with and we can say http we can go ahead and open this up we're going to say return await interaction dot reply and we're going to go ahead and say content then in here we can say you cannot enlarge default emojis just like that we can do comma eph emeral and we'll do true and we can go ahead and copy this paste it down here we can change this to https so now we're going to go ahead and make our embed so we can do const embed equals new embed builder we can do dot set color and we'll do blue we can do dot set description and in here we're going to do white check mark and we can say your emoji has been enlarged just like that. Now I am actually going to go ahead and bold this just like I did in ESCII. Now we can do dot set image and for our image we're going to do emoji. We can set a timestamp. Then we can go ahead and set a footer and we'll do text. And for our text we can do emoji in larger just like that. Then all we have to do is actually send this. So we can do await interaction dot reply and we can do embeds and then we can just go ahead and pass in our embed just like that. One more thing before we do restart the bot, I did actually do dot math right here, emoji dot math, just do emoji dot match just like that. 
Now we can go ahead and restart the bot and test this out. So over in the Discord server, we're going to go ahead and run our slash enlarge command, and I did run into some errors when actually trying to create this command for some reason. I'm not really sure why. So I just went ahead and did enlarge in the test command. So for me, I'm just going to go ahead and run test, and we're going to go ahead and get the emoji. So that emoji will just be a green check like that. And as you can see, it's going to go ahead and enlarge my emoji. So it is going to make it bigger so I can open it in browser or copy the link or even drag it onto my desktop if I want. This does work for animated emojis as well. If I do the ASCII check just like that, it will work just like that. Now, if I try to do it for a default emoji, let's say the blush emoji, it says I cannot enlarge default emojis just like it should. So that's how you can make an enlarge command for a Discord.js version 14 bot. If you need any help, go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be able to help you out. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.